Hello, children. We are moving on to a new series of lessons. I can surf. Have you ever surfed? What did you do when you surfed? I remember when I first started serving in Harvest Kids, the first thing I did was to sweep the floor. I wanted to make sure the floor was clean and tidy for all the children. The dictionary gives as many meanings for the word surf. It can mean to offer food, to help, to work, to provide. Those who serve others are known as servants. Look at this picture. How many servants can you identify? One, two? In fact, all of them are servants. A doctor, a teacher, even your school principal is a servant. They are known as public or civil servants. They serve the government and the people. Jesus is the greatest servant who ever lived. He helped people and put the needs of others even when he was tired. The Bible tells us he washed the disciples' feet. He served us to the extent of dying on the cross for all of us so that we can be saved from our sins. Children, Jesus is the best example of servanthood through his humility, obedience and love for people. Let's learn from Jesus. Let's serve God and serve others around us. This is one of the best ways we can show people that we are Christians by being a servant. So remember, wherever you are, wherever you go, let's follow Jesus' example as we serve. Hi children! Well, let me begin this time by asking you a question. How many of you would like to be treated like VIPs every day? That's right, a VIP is a very important person. Now, if you are a VIP, you will be given a special VIP card. And with your VIP card, you'll be treated to many, many wonderful rewards. For example, you will be at the first of the queue, or you'll be able to take the best at the front seat of a roller coaster, or you will be able to have the best food and desserts and ice cream. Wow, how nice would that be? Would you want to be a VIP? Well, that's exactly what two brothers who were disciples of Jesus had in mind. The Bible tells us in Mark chapter 10 that James and John approached Jesus and said to him, Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask. Wow, children, what do you think James and John would want to request from Jesus? Well, Jesus asked them, What do you want me to do for you? The brothers replied, in your glorious kingdom, we want to sit in places of honour next to you, one at your right and the other at your left. The brothers thought that Jesus was going to set up an earthly kingdom and they wanted to sit beside him on the throne like a VIP. They wanted to share in his glory and his greatness. Well, Jesus answered and said to them, you do not know what you're asking. Then he explained that whoever wants to be great must first be a servant of all. He said, For even I, the Son of Man, came here not to be served, but to serve others and to give my life as a ransom for many. Wow, I don't think that being a servant, as what Jesus mentioned, was exactly what James and John were wishing for. And that is why Jesus continued on to say, and this is our Bible memory verse taken from Mark chapter 10, verse 43. The verse tells us, Don't be like that. Instead, anyone who wants to be important among you must be your servant. You see, the leaders during Jesus' time didn't like to serve. They enjoyed throwing their weight around so that they can be in the limelight and be popular and they always want to be served by others. But Jesus says, just the exact opposite. He says that if we want to be first, if we want to be great, we must first then be servants, servants of everyone who needs our help. So children, will you today make that decision to be like Jesus and to serve and to help others who needs our help? Amen. Children, 
we learned an important lesson today. To be important is to be a servant. How many of you wish to be someone important? Then you must start serving. Many times we hear people say, I want to be more and more like Jesus. Well, to truly be like Jesus, we must learn to live as a servant and serve others the way Jesus did. Only then can we be truly great and show God's love to everyone in the world. How many of you wish to serve like Jesus? Shall we close our eyes and pray this prayer together? Dear Jesus, I want to be humble like you. Help me to serve others the way you do. Help me to be a servant to those around me to serve in humility, obedience, and joy. Jesus, I want to serve like you. In Jesus' name I pray, and everyone say, Amen.